Hi, I'm Leanne Agurkis with Smart Enterprise and CA Technologies. I'm here at the RSA Conference 2014 with John Olsick, and we want to talk to him a little bit today about what he's um, here at the conference to do and speak about. John, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you're doing today. Sure, Leanne. I'm a Senior Principal Analyst at the Enterprise Strategy Group, and I'm here at RSA to learn about what's going on in the industry, and I'm actually speaking a couple of times about some of our research that we're doing. Great. I looked through some of the abstracts of the um, sessions, and one really struck me as interesting, and it, it's a session you're doing, and it seems to indicate that there's an IT security skills gap yes. happening. Can you tell us a little bit, bit about that and what is causing this gap? Yeah, um, it's a pet peeve of mine. It's an issue that I've been looking at for a number of years, and I'm happy that I'm actually speaking about it this year. Um, we've seen a skills gap for a number of years, as I say. Uh, according to our latest research, 25% of global organizations um, say they have a problematic shortage of IT security skills. And that's the highest shortage of any type of skills. Um, what's causing it is really kind of a supply and demand thing is that Was it one uh, or two? the demand for these types of skills is going up precipitously. In fact, um, the U.S. Department of Labor believes it will be a 20% growth in cybersecurity yeah jobs between now and 2020, but there's just not enough young people who are interested in this work. So consequently, we have more jobs, we have less people who are interested in those jobs, and that, that really equates to this big gap, and it's a global gap. Wow. Um, so what security skills do you think are going to be in demand, the most demand? Well, it's interesting because um, we've researched that too, and the number one gap, or the number one demanded skill set is cloud security combined with virtualization security. So it's those new types of initiatives where you need new technology experience and you need uh, security experience. Mobile is another one. And so those things are, are, are really in high demand, but we also see high demand for just core security skills, network security, endpoint security skills, security analytics skills. So that's a little bit scary to me is that those are core skills and we still have a gap. Okay, so those are some things they should look for in 2014, 2015. But what is there any one thing in particular you think they should focus on first? Well, if in, in my interactions with CISO, as I say, go back and assess your skills, and go and, and and simultaneously look at your requirements, and then figure out where you need to point your good people, and then look for partners, maybe some service providers, and outsource because it's it's difficult to do everything. And there's some more pedestrian skills that you can probably outsource and uh, and do just fine. But point your people at the real high value, high security things. Right. Are there any last tips for the IT security um, managers that are looking to hire folks that maybe you know need to, don't have a huge budget but really need to attract top talent? Yeah. What we're what we're telling people is to. Uh, make yourselves a security center of excellence. So make sure that you can uh, make, your, make the jobs challenging, provide training. Let people come to things like RSA, let them get the training, let them present, uh, but give them a leadership role. And then of course, make sure that security is a part of your corporate culture, that everyone buys in, so that the security people don't feel like they're pushing a rock up a hill. Right. Well, John, thank you so much. You're welcome. I appreciate the time. I'm Leanna Gurkis with Smart Enterprise.